Welcome to Project Mantis, our video moderation system. Video is an arguably the biggest big data today, with more than 70% of all internet traffic in the world being video-based. This proportion is expected to reach close to 90% next year. Did you know that over 400 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute? Just take a second to fathom how immense that rate is. These statistics, although significant, shouldn't come as a surprise to us. Video has become a much more popular medium of expression with the ubiquity of smartphones to take video and popular platforms to show them. More and more people are uploading videos to social media outlets, watching videos on popular video platforms like YouTube and Facebook, and streaming video media through sites like HBO and Netflix. Since online video platforms are getting more people to watch their content, the business of selling video ads on these platforms is booming, with close to $200 billion worth of ads being sold just this year. This has become a lucrative source of revenue for the big players in the market, especially Google and Facebook. As we all know, there's no free lunch. With the massive increase in video online, fundamental problems have come up. One serious problem is the inability to monitor the content being uploaded by users. Because of the high and increasing upload rate, doing this monitoring manually is very expensive and infeasible. This problem has had a significant commercial impact on popular online video platforms, especially YouTube where many multinational advertisers have recently pulled back on using their services after it was discovered that their ads were being placed in videos that contain inappropriate content, which might negatively impact their brands. Another issue is that advertisers cannot be guaranteed that their ads are being placed in videos or at specific times in videos that are the most relevant to their product or brand. Companies like Nike would prefer their ads to be placed in videos where people are doing some sort of sport or exercise over videos depicting someone eating, for example. Currently, this capability is not available on video platforms. This is where Mantis steps in. Using state-of-the-art video understanding algorithms, Mantis can deliver on these missing capabilities. After our algorithms are trained on large amounts of video, they can very quickly sift through a video's content and pull out useful semantics. For example, it can determine the likelihood of a video containing inappropriate content, including things like excessive violence, animal or child abuse, among others. With the help of advertisers, Mantis can also localize in a video times where particular ads can be embedded for enhanced user engagement. Now let's see Mantis in action. Here we see the Mantis website that provides online access to the automated video technology we developed at Mantis. I will demo three features of Mantis, the healer, the ad placer, and the live classifier. In the Mantis Healer, we showcase our ability to automatically tag or classify user videos as inappropriate or appropriate. By inappropriate, we mean whether a video violates content guidelines or is not suitable for ad placement. Here the, the videos are coming from YouTube, but they can come from any other video source. By analyzing a few thousand videos that have already been tagged as inappropriate or appropriate, Mantis Healer learns what visual content to focus on in order to predict the likelihood probability of a video being inappropriate. All of this is being done automatically. After this training step, Mantis Healer can be applied to more user-generated videos that it has not seen before. Here we see that 2,000 videos from YouTube have been subject to Mantis Healer analysis and the results of the processing are shown below in these two tabs. In the Inappropriate tab, Mantis Healer has populated all these videos within this set. These videos have a probability score of being inappropriate higher than a threshold determined by the style. At 50%, there are 1,077 videos retrieved. As the threshold is increased to about 90%, you see that the number of videos has decreased and we only focus on the videos that we're confident have inappropriate content. We also let users give feedback to Mantis Healer so it can continuously improve its performance. For example, let's consider this dog video. <laughs> Mantis Healer has deemed this video as inappropriate because it shows actions that look similar to instances of animal abuse. However, as you can see, this video is harmless, so we give negative feedback to the system saying that the classification is incorrect. Mantis Healer will, will learn from this feedback and not make the mistake again. Moving on to the other videos that actually contain inappropriate content, we can provide also positive feedback. So we can click the check here here here
here and here. The recall dial here gives a summary of this user feedback. It basically shows the percentage of the feedback that was positive. That means the percentage of times Mantis Healer was correct. We can use this dial as a way to keep tab of Healer's overall performance as judged by our users. By clicking on the classifier tab here, we can see how Mantis Healer works live. On this page, you can see videos from a library downloaded from YouTube. By refreshing, you can repopulate this library with many more videos. By clicking any of them, you can actually see the video itself. So for example, this video is about a way to shovel snow. It's about 2 minutes and 43 seconds long, and by clicking on this button we will have this video being processed by Mantis Live, and it will generate the result in approximately 33 seconds. Keep in mind that this processing time includes the time needed to upload the video to the processing server. And as you see, the overall processing time was about 24 seconds, less than the estimated time. And the probability of it being unfavorable or inappropriate is actually very low, which actually it is from the video. Okay, so now let's move on to another video that might contain some inappropriate content. So I chose this video. It has to do with uh, the ISIS war and the carnage that comes of excessive violence. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it does contain some graphic material. Uh, I'll just go through it really quick. All right. So this video is about seven minutes long. Uh, we're going to upload it and classify it using Mantis Healer. The estimated time is about 81 seconds, but it depends on how fast the bandwidth is to upload the video. So the results are in. Uh, it took about 59 seconds, about a minute, to generate uh, the probability. And as we expected, uh, it gave it about 100% probability that it contained inappropriate material. And 59 seconds as compared to 7 minutes is about uh, um, uh, 7 times real time. So it's pretty, pretty fast. And it's just running on a single GPU. Now let's move to the last Mantis feature that I want to show you today, the Mantis add placement tool. Let's go ahead and click on the Add tab here. As I mentioned earlier, Mantis can not only help online video platforms monitor the video content being uploaded, especially for inappropriate material, but Mantis can also help find when interesting visual content happens inside a video. This can help advertisers place ads in a more intelligent way, so as to increase product visibility and user engagement. On this page, I'm going to demo how this Mantis feature can be used to place targeted ads for two companies, McDonald's and Nike. We give advertisers the ability to specify the targeted activities they want their ads to be placed before, during, or after. So for example, here we're interested in placing a McDonald's ad after a basketball dunk. You see on the right the result of this ad placement. Just as a note, pay attention to when the ad comes up and how it's related to the actual video content and the targeted activity. This is by three. Here's a takeaway by Andre Played the passing lane. Drives in Tomahawks over Brand. 20 and 12 boards. This is by three. Here's a takeaway by Andre Played the passing lane. Drives in Tomahawks over Brand. Count that baby a 
a foul. Pistons by three. Here's a takeaway by Andre. Played the passing lane. Drives and tomahawks over Brand. Count that baby. So it's clear that Mantis is able to detect when the dung activities are happening and using that to place the ad at the correct time that the advertiser wanted. So let's move on to Nike. And here we're interested in placing Nike ads after baseball pitches. So here's the result. Again, pay attention to the to the uh, ad and when it's placed. <laughs> So yet, an, yet another example of how Mantis is able to localize when this targeted activity happens and, pl and it places the ad uh, intelligently at that location. Today I've highlighted two important features of the Mantis project. I've shown you that Mantis Healer can be used to quickly and accurately decide whether a video contains inappropriate material. And I also demoed how Mantis technology can be used for intelligent ad placement in videos. We're very excited to work with you on developing and expanding Mantis further. We at Mantis are dedicated to providing intelligent video solutions for the video ad market.